Yo, Facebook, this is going to be short and quick. I just wanted to share a little snippet from a video I just did. Um, if you want that whole video, I'll, I'll send it to you. But it's, it's just time for like 2019. Internet marketing is doing its thing. Everybody's lying about how much money they make. Everybody's heads in the clouds. Let's talk about reality and learning because I love learning. But here's the danger. And you, as long as you're aware of it, as long as you're cognizant of it, it just, just, that's fine. You make your own, no, no judgment here, no positionality. You make your decisions, but I want you to be aware of this. Let's assume that this is everything you know, right here. This represents everything you know. I wish I had a rubber band. Hold on. All right. So pretend there's a rubber band between my fingers. This represents everything you know you should be doing, right? Exercise more eat less, write organic, uh, write, read, go to bed on time, wake up on time, eat breakfast. The, this represents all the things you know you should be doing to get to where you want to be. Now, this represents what you are actually doing, right? Fair enough, because we all know we should turn our phone off during the day and not be distracted, but we kind of get distracted, right? We all know we should exercise every day, but we kind of don't. So, when we learn, we're learning to solve problems, right? This is what we need to do. This is what we know we should be doing. This is what we're doing, okay? The gap between the two does two things. One, the wider the gap, the less you trust yourself because you're not doing what you know you should be doing. And two, pretend there's a rubber band between them, the more tension there is in your life in general, okay? So here is the problem with learning new things. And I have to be cognizant of this because I like to learn. When this gap, when you learn things, when you go, okay, well, what's more things I can do to make money? Keep in mind, you're already not doing the things you know you should. What are more things I can do to make money? What are more things I can do to make uh, lose weight? What are more things I can do to spend more time with my kids? Whatever. You start learning more methods and the gap gets wider because you haven't changed your behavior. And then you learn more methods. And then you, and now you know, in theory, you know how to make money, lose weight, uh, attract the opposite sex, raise good kids. You know how to do all this stuff, but you're not doing it, okay? So addressing this gap, what, what Dr. Cashy calls the intention intervention gap. Addressing that gap is more important if you actually want to move the needle. Now, if you're aware that you're just learning for the sake of freaking learning, cool. But just be aware that this is what this is your behavior every day. And this is what you know you should be doing. Okay. The more you learn, the more you learn about what you should be doing, the wider that gap. Now you have to ask yourself, do I want that gap to be wider? Or would it make more sense to put that time, effort, and energy instead of learning new things, putting effort into changing your behavior? which nobody wants to do, right? Change your behavior until that gap is gone and then you can learn more stuff and then change your behavior. You can view them at the same time, right? The key is to not let this gap get out of control because then you become the, the you know, the, the know-it-all in the corner that's 80 pounds overweight but tells everybody else the facts about weight loss, right? Or you become the poor guy in the corner telling everybody how they should be marketing. Like nobody wants to be that. And so you can't just learn stuff. And I mean, you can, but that's what you're going to become. If you learn stuff, I strongly suggest you take time to cut off the learning new ideas and implementing to close that gap. And so that, that was a little, just a little snippet of a video I just made. Uh, but I was just thinking about it and it, you know, sometimes I think about stuff and I write about it. Sometimes I talk about it. Today I'm talking about it. Hopefully that's useful.